Happening right now, the Florida Aquarium is making a major announcement. Leaders say they made a breakthrough that could save Florida's corals from extinction. Let's listen in. We are excited to share our wonderful news uh, with some history that was just made over the weekend. So if you think about 50 years ago, we landed on the moon for the first time, and we, as a country and a nation, we took that challenge to, uh, to heart, uh, that there was nothing that we couldn't accomplish. And 50 years later, I'm pleased to announce that the Florida Aquarium has made global history in being the first organization ever to spawn Atlantic coral uh, in a laboratory setting, which is right behind me, and we're going to get a chance to tour that a little bit later on today. So uh, extremely excited uh, to share this news, extremely honored and humbled, uh, because this really, truly is a game changer. Last week, I had the opportunity to go uh, snorkel on Florida's uh, coral reef track, which is really America's great barrier reef. Um, and to be honest, it was uh, very disappointing. I was, I was losing a little bit of hope. Uh, when I saw what was happening to our uh, coral reefs, from climate change to other uh, pollutants and in the waters, uh, to a disease which is ravaging the Florida coral reef track and starting to, to, to take effect in the Caribbean. Um, I've been in this business for a while, but there, there were points where I was, uh, I was a little discouraged. Um, also, we had our team of coral experts that were working in the Florida Keys down in Key West, who were in the water in the evening trying to capture what is probably going to be the last wild spawn of pillar coral ever. Um, and as we know, extinction is forever. So coming back uh, to here to Tampa after th that trip of meeting with the team and snorkeling myself, again, a little bit discouraged of what was happening. But then at one o'clock on Saturday, to get the call from our coral experts here at the Florida Aquarium saying that the first time ever when coral experts doubted that this could even happen, but the first time ever, Atlantic coral spawned in a laboratory setting. I will tell you, uh, I, I, could have, I could have gone to the moon myself. I was so excited. Hope returned. Because when you think uh, in the long run, history, making history, equals hope. So there is hope for North America's Great Barrier Reef. There is hope to restore the Florida coral reef uh, tract and, and coral reefs around the globe. Um, and we're extremely, extremely uh, uh, excited and honored and humbled uh, to, to have this announcement here today. Um, and, uh, and, and also excited about what's next. Um, a couple of things real quick. You can't do this without all of our partners uh, and folks who have really, really helped step up. Um, and make uh, and make this happen because again there were a lot of folks in the coral world who said this cannot be done, and our team proved it. So I can, I'm extremely extremely proud of our coral experts and our team and our commitment uh, to making no little plans and protecting and restoring our blue planet. But I also like to give a shout out to Jamie Craggs at the Horniman Museum in London. Um, this partnership really, really was critical in us breaking the code uh, on Atlantic coral and making sure that we could uh, have the success that we have. Jamie was able to, um, uh, to spawn Pacific coral uh, a few years ago, but nobody has ever been able to do that in, in, in with Atlantic. So we owe Jamie a, a, a lot of thanks for for partnering with us, taking a chance with us, and really pushing uh, the innovation envelope with our team. Um, I also like to thank the folks at Nova Southeastern, uh, Dr. Karen Neely, and the folks at KML, who also helped us uh, get the uh, pillar coral here at the Florida Aquarium. Because obviously, you know, to do the work that we do in a lab setting, we need to make sure that we have, have the coral that we can save. So um, give, give a great shout out to them. Um, but I'm, but I'm just excited to be here. I get the privilege of announcing, you know, the world first uh, time that Atlantic coral uh, has spawned in a laboratory setting. But the real work uh, that happened uh, is under the leadership of Carrie O'Neill, who many of you know, as we call her the coral whisperer. Um, she uh, has taken this challenge uh, personally into heart, and she and her team have pushed all uh, pushed us uh, to this day. And I want to give Carrie an opportunity to come up and talk about what happened and uh, and congratulate you and the team for all the great work. So let me introduce Carrie O'Neill. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Hello, everyone. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit shorter than Roger. Thank you, Roger, and thank you everyone for coming out here today to share with us in this really amazing story. Um, as Roger said, this is not just a scientific breakthrough, this is hope for a species that's critically endangered in Florida, and this is actually hope for many species along the Florida Reef Tract. In 2017, the Florida Aquarium partnered with the Horniman Museum and Gardens to learn how to predictably spawn corals in an aquarium setting. Um, and before then, this technique had really only been used with, on Pacific species and for research. But one thing we wanted to do with our partnership was to take this project to the next level and to use this technology to induce Atlantic corals to spawn so that we can rear their offspring here at the Center for Conservation and then ultimately use those corals to repopulate cor Florida's coral reefs. Um, Florida's coral reefs are in a pretty dire situation right now, being affected by so many different stressors and now a major disease outbreak on top of everything. And to be honest, a lot of corals are now being pulled out of the ocean for a genetic archive project so that we can keep them on land to weather the storm, essentially. Um, but just keeping them on land is not how you're going to save the reef. Um, by being able to keep these corals for many years and then spawn them in aquarium systems, this gives us the opportunity to create tens of thousands of corals to restore Florida's coral reefs. So behind me is our Project Coral Coral Spawning Laboratory. In there we have three different species of Atlantic coral. And over the past eight months, our staff have been very carefully um, controlling and programming and monitoring all of the sunrise and sunset and moonrise and moonset and moon phases and seasonal temperature changes and all of those things that go into triggering a coral to spawn. It's a very uh, precise process and I'll admit we were all a bit nervous and we didn't know if it would work but on Saturday August 17th at about 12.55 we were pleasantly surprised and so excited to witness firsthand a massive and fully synchronized spawning of pillar coral in both of the systems that were keeping the pillar coral in. Um, we had males and females spawning right at the time that they would have spawned in the wild, so we know that we've given them all of the right cues and that they're doing really well and they're happy and getting everything that they need in our care. But of course, we couldn't do this all alone. We have a fantastic team here at the Florida Aquarium Center for Conservation, and I'd like to actually pull them up now to give them a round of applause. We have some staff and volunteers here. It's not just staff that make this happen. We have an amazing team of volunteers, and all of this crew was here to help me over the past week um, to make this a reality, and really over the past year. So a round of applause for the staff, please. I'd like to also thank some of our partners, just as Roger did. The Horniman Museum and Jamie Craggs have been um, there with us the whole way. I can have Skype calls with Jamie any time of the night or day saying, wait, this is how, I don't know what to do, what should I do? It's really been amazing. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have been supportive through this whole thing of rescuing corals from the Florida Reef Tract and then also supporting their propagation here at the Florida Aquarium. Um, Nova Southeastern University, Dr. Karen Neely, and Keys Marine Laboratory, Dr. Cynthia Lewis. They're the original pillar coral queens, uh, and they just um, made this whole project possible by deciding to rescue these corals and bring them into the aquarium systems in the first place. And of course, Tampa Electric Company, our, our partner here on site, um, for giving us this fantastic place to work in. And I now have the honor to share this stage via Skype with Dr. Jamie Craigs from the Horniman Museum. Jamie is an aquarium curator and the lead of Project Coral. Jamie has spent countless hours working with us to ensure this successful spawn of Atlantic coral, and he joins us actually from his holiday in Croatia. So we're very honored to have him here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jamie Craigs. Hello. You are listening to a very exciting announcement from the Florida Aquarium. They're just telling us that history was made over the weekend at their Apollo Beach facility. They're the first organization to spawn Atlantic coral in a lab setting. And they say the For Florida coral reefs are really in a dire situation. So this is going to be a game changer and will help save the reef track. Really exciting announcement from the aquarium right now.